writing tonight, wearing a thong is nudity. That tiny little string doesn't cover much and very easy to slip and show more than need be. I don't want to see a man in a Speedo or a woman in a thong at the beach if I am with my kid. Very inappropriate. And it may very well be a family beach down. I think they're close to Myrtle Beach. Uh, Alana, um, should we be arresting men in Speedos? <laughs> Look, I think it's a, I agree with David, it's a complete waste, to, waste of resources during COVID. However, I did look into the statute and it does specify the word buttocks. So, you know, to the police credit, they were reading from the wording of, of, of the city ordinance. And so I think the draconian laws are not exactly in line with fashion. It's something to take up with the legislature. I know there's public decency laws, obscenity laws all throughout the United States. And for the most part, you know, they specify genitalia, which is obviously not something you want to see at a beach with children. Um, but I'm glad. I think they let her go. I think that was a good decision. <laughs> Let's let's get to this buttocks issue. What percentage? Because to me, there's a lot of gray area. There could be a lot of depending on what you're wearing. You know, you're wearing something like this, like this, or like this. Like, where do we draw the line on this one, Nima? I mean, this is ridiculous, right? You know, you have four officers who are there arresting this woman. You know, here in L.A., I can't get LAPD to arrest a rapist, you know, but apparently in South Carolina, they have time to enforce these kind of laws. I mean, the law on the books um, as applied is overbroad. Um, the officer's interpretation is overbroad. So what is it like it, your buttocks can't be showing? So unless you're wearing board shorts, uh, boy shorts, excuse me, something like that. Any type of bikini is going to show part of the buttocks. I mean, this law is ridiculous. Officers enforcement of it is ridiculous. And this should not have happened. Um, I feel terribly sorry for this woman and outraged at whoever would actually call law enforcement because of an issue like this. It was a Karen. All right, let's get to definitely a Karen. Let's get, let's get to Margie. Margie says, seems like the girl is getting famous for breaking laws. Either way, she should have been ticketed and removed from the beach. Next comment. Let's go to Kay. Nudity is without covering. A thing is considered a piece of clothing. Some, uh, I guess she says a thing, a thong is considered a piece of clothing. Some Karen got upset. Her hubby was staring at the woman and called police. <laughs> Bet. Um, uh, do we think that's what may have happened here, Alana? I think so. <laughs> Just as a woman, I would imagine, you know, especially it's, it's the summertime, women, it's like, like David said, cheeky is the new line of fashion, and some women sport it, others don't like it, so I think that's what happened here. Yeah, I'll tell you, at the trial, uh, Nima, would you call uh, Cisco as an expert witness for you? Yeah, absolutely, yeah, <laughs> thong song, G-strings, I mean, we need the whole, you know, encyclopedia of the evolution of the bikini for this one. All right. That's all I got tonight. That's it, folks. All right. Nima Romani, <laughs> uh, Dave Arenberg, and, of course, uh, Alana Yakovlev. Great to have you all on the program tonight. Thank you so much. Thanks for playing along, and we will see you again soon.